Hey everybody, my name is Kendall and welcome back for another video of Horizon Forbidden West. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, uh, I kind of actually don't really remember. I knew, I do remember that uh, we went into this place. We created the base, basically. So we got a brand new base of operations. Nobody in it yet. I imagine eventually we'll have people in it and stuff like that. There's some components we can build and all this. We're supposed to go to the west door. In order to um, find out uh, the for, uh, the components that we need to build a uh, to build Gaia into a whole uh, a whole human being or something like that, so in order for her to be whole, uh, we are gonna have to uh, literally get find those components. Uh, I'm not too sure where we're gonna find those so-called uh, special things, or uh, I'm not too sure where I'm supposed to look if I want to look for a brand new areas i imagine there's new things i can discover here let me drop down actually let me drop down really quick it shouldn't be too hard i kind of want to explore really quick uh, before that it is optional to explore the base and apparently we haven't uh, explored everything so kind of want to see what it is that uh there's a bunch of servers Gaia. what is this it looks like all the stuff down here connects to the dome what's it for this facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Okay. So this is where everything's stored. Got you. AI. So... You have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. Okay, so I've explored everything. So that was it? Just that? All right, that was underwhelming, boys. Not much, uh, not much uh, that I can do really in this space uh, just yet, I guess. So now that we've discovered everything, I guess now we can actually do the main mission. So we're gonna go right past the west door. I went ahead in my own free time. Of course, it's been a while since I played, but uh, right after I did the previous video, uh, I went ahead, of course, and did some side stuff and all. And I feel like I'm ready to do the main quest, of course. So let's just move on already. And continue where we're at, right where we're supposed to go at. It is snowing like crazy in this game. To head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we've heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. There is one question in mind, boys. In my mind is how the hell is Zo not freezing to death right now? It is literally snowing. It's got to be super cold and she's not freezing. Even I should be freezing a little bit because my, uh, you can see my arms are not fully protected from uh, weather. So that's not good at all. How am I not freezing myself? I mean, I'm, I am a warrior, but Zoe is not a warrior. So how the hell is she not freezing right now? I don't know, boys. We got like some sort of side quest available right here in event. Uh, I am going to just go here really quick though to just to unlock this particular, I, I guess, campfire and whatnot. So there we go. This campfire is now going to be available for us. So we're officially in the 
west. This is our base of operations. We got to go all across right here. Now we can always go to the tall necks every time and try and unlock them. Uh, so every time you unlock a tall neck, you basically um, you basically unlock all the um, the region around you. So you uh, that's would be a good thing to do. I'm guessing. Uh, what do you want exactly? What does she want to talk to me for? I'm curious to see uh, what she wants. Let me see really quick. Let me interact with her. Can I not interact with her? Okay, there we go. What's the rumor about? What is this? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Okay, that's it. All right, so you just got to be careful in the West. She just gave us that information, I guess. We also have this guy. We maybe want to interact with him really quick, see what he wants to sell us. We got a, stroke, uh, a shock bolt blaster. Don't really need those, to be honest. Uh, I do want, however, to see... Okay, so I don't have any things to really sell right now. So nothing of value. He does have an outfit, a different outfit, which is the Nora Sentinel. I really like the outfit I currently have, and it is a rare outfit as well. So if I see another outfit that's uh, above rare, I'll take it. But otherwise, I'm not going to take it. Uh, Nora Sentinel, yeah, it's a really good, it's a nice outfit. It has a nice look, but uh, I really like the one I already have uh, right now. The black one seems like my favorite so far. So we'll just keep with what I got. Uh, for now, it seems like we're supposed to go all the way down there. So we're supposed to just travel. There is a tall neck right here that I can probably unlock. So here's what we're going to go. We're going to go towards that tall neck. Plus there is, apparently there is the hive, the, the rebel camp. So this is a, may, a side quest, obviously. Uh, but the broken sky. So this is another one. So all these coordinates, they're all different uh, components that we need. We could, We should probably go there first. It seems to be closer than the other one. The other one seems to be all around, uh, all across. Oh, we're going to actually go to this one, the Broken Sky, since it is a lot closer to us. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm actually off obviously going to equip as well uh, my, my mount boys because obviously I am not going to... I'm not going to go in on foot. That's going to take way too long. Where's my mount going at? I, I can't see it right now, but I think we're going the right direction. There is a campfire here if I want to unlock it. Uh, I did unlock that campfire right here. So, uh, yeah, I want to unlock as many campfires as possible, boys. This is very important for me. If I want to unlock all the fast traveling points. Okay, so I think I've unlocked it, boys. I've come across it. So, uh, we're good for now. So, let's keep moving. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, I, I had to go up, didn't I? Okay, let me let, let me drop down. Let me drop down. Oh, now don't want to fall to my death. Okay, there we go. I'll call out my mount as soon as I get um, further enough because my mount's gonna stick uh, uh, too close uh, either uh, either way uh, if it's not the case. So there we go. Back on my mount, and we're good to go, boys. So let me just go ahead and travel towards the tall neck. Shouldn't uh, take too long. Alright boys, there's a tall neck right here. Uh, there's got to be a facility nearby that I can take in order to to get on him or something like that. Uh, and, and at the same time, uh, I did went ahead and unlocked uh, a new campfire place. Uh, two brand new campfire places. So I'm doing good right now. Where is the... This is a campfire place. So this is... Where would it, where would it be for me if I wanted to... Actually, this is going to be... I don't want to fight this dude. These dudes are going to be way too difficult. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. How am I going to get... How am I going to get uh, close to that tall neck, boys? There's got to be a tower somewhere or something, right? There's got to be something that I can 
eventually take or go up go up at so let me see is there anything at all there seems to be a facility the up uh, up ahead or there's a campfire and everything let me see if that's the case if that's where i'm supposed to go boys i mean there's a camp another campfire right there and this is yeah this is like a tower facility here so what is that is that what i'm supposed to take Hmm, that's very interesting, boys. I don't know how I'm going to get to that tall neck. That's going to be a challenge and a half. Yeah, I don't see any way for me, boys, to actually get to that tall neck. So that one is going to have to wait, I guess. We can also get into that unknown settlement. But I really want to focus on the actual uh, main mission. And it looks like I might have lost my, my mount somehow. Which means I'm going to have to get myself a new one. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, but well, I messed up right there because these uh, these ones saw me, which is not good. Critical strike. Boom, all right, there we go. So I'm just going to set up the charger. I, I'm going to need a new uh, charger then. We're getting close. This is the area, boys, right in that, uh, in that place. Should be our first component, our first uh, thing that we're supposed to get. There is... I did unlock another fast traveling point. There's lots of fast traveling points. Lots of campfire, uh, campfire, uh, campfires around. Uh, if I could only find a way to get to that tall neck, boys, it would really help me out. But there is no way that I could find, uh, find as of now. I can't climb up them just yet. And the I could try and go to the unknown settlement, but I don't want to waste my time doing those things, boys. So. We'll just continue and the main problem is really that I lost my mount so that's the main problem right now if I, the, the, well I could try and get the bri a bristle back I could try and mount a bristle back really quick is it far away it's not even far away it's right there so maybe if I can get close to one of them and mount him uh, that would be great I mean at least get that right so let me try and see if I can do that. That's going to be challenging though because there's a lot of them. There's really a lot of them. So I really got to be careful. Can I... I mean I can probably override them but I don't know if I can actually mount them. Override them. Let's be... Uh, let it be aggressive. Okay there we go. I can mount it. Good. Look at that boys. Alright we got a brand new mount. Perfect. Brand new mount and this one is super fast as well. Alright good. So we got a bristle back much more stronger than uh, uh, a charger, that's for sure. A lot better. Yeah, I like that. All right, so brand new mount, a lot bigger, a lot faster, stronger. Yeah, that's a that's a good mount right there. All right, I'm, I'm happy about that, boys. I got what I needed. Perfect. I was wondering if I could actually, you know, get my hands on that bristle back, and uh, turns out I, I could. Who are these people? There's some people right here. Deca? All right. Let me, uh, let me interact with her really quick. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Deca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you'd like. On the way to the Chief. Do I want her to be go with me to a Cairo? Uh, Cairo wants to see me. Visions or Chaplain? Uh, yeah, why does he want to see me? Why does Hikaro want to see me? We are at war with Regatta. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. 
But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. All right. Well, All let's right. go to Ikaro then. Is if he wants Ikaro. to see me, let's talk to him. At the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. All right then. We do have something right here that we can interact with, which I am interested in. W uh, watch the visions. So those are the visions. Uh, let me see really quick around. I don't have anything it seems like. So who is she? Exactly just Deka. She doesn't give me any information about her. Let me see really quick. Let me find out what this is all about. The visions and, all of, uh, and everything. I'm really interested. Okay, so there's a bunch of uh, the huge story. We're trying to figure out what that is all about. Okay, well maybe we can help with that. Working together as a squad and sharing in their duties. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Okay. All right. So why can I not? Uh, okay. There we go. For a second, I couldn't um, scan anything. I wanted to scan this. So okay. Got all of these. There's a lot of uh, of these around. I probably that's probably how I'm going to be able to uh, to to change all this or to help out with these visions and all. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work out. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of stuff around. Look at that. If I just get all of this, maybe that's going to help out and in, in, in all. So let me try and find as many of these uh, items as possible or logs. Okay, it seems like we're good. Let's just go ahead and interact with this one then. Let's see what this is all about, boys. During their war, the ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. All right. Maybe I'll pay them a visit uh, when I have the chance. What about this one? What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. Maybe I did. I'm not too sure. That must have been them, probably. I, I don't know. I, I'm not too sure. So extreme. there's more? How it many of these do you company. have? Wait, that's the throne room, probably. Yeah, that's the throne room. This is uh, what I'm looking for right here. Hold on. Some uh, stuff I can loot. There's one more right here. Lots of logs. I can probably get all these logs, to be honest. Get me this one as well. Black uh, black box, okay. Hey, Outlander. There's somebody right you here. Have an old world recording? Sell stuff? What this do you sell? Speaking with voices of the old ones, but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it. And other artifacts from Tanakh's territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her, but then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but. Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9 out. The so it's a black box for a ship or some sort. A vessel. 
the bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do Sounds that, like a side quest to me, boys. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. All right. Well, that sounds like a definitely a side quest to me. We'll see how it goes. Trade in, uh, trade in recordings. Let me know when you have. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, we gotta trade some recordings. Maybe what is she gonna give us for that? Why well, collect these voices? Uh, I'll be on my way now. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm guessing we deliver those to her somehow, and. That's gonna do something for her or something. I don't know. It's gonna give her something particular. I don't know. But uh, we do have another corrupted place. Let me find out, boys. We got a lot of auto projectors to interact with. I do want to watch all the visions. I'm interested by what is the uh, what all of this is. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten. Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. So there is another one right here. There we go, another log, Hall of Heroes. I'm not even uh, reading these logs, Just boys, inside. but Are you and it's a lot of logs to read. So I, I, I don't have time for this. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I'm ready to meet the chief. Let's do it. I'm ready. Good. Come. I truly wonder, boys, when I'm gonna have the legendary outfit on. Or a legendary anything, really. Because right now, the the rarest thing I've got is the rare armor. And the rare weapon or weaponry. So when's the legendary stuff going to come in? Uh, at? And when am I, like... I don't even know uh, how far I am into the game. Feels like I'm only at the beginning still. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I should have not there for that. Forget about that one. I hear you have an artifact that belongs to me. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock whose lives hang in the balance, I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to see? Exactly. I could literally do that. You could try. You might even succeed. 
by the way you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? Damn, yeah, don't cave in like, like that so easily. If I'd have had Such a choice, boys, I would have killed Ikara on the spot and just trial, opened the door. The cool Come on now. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clan. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Kuru. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. My main question is why do I need to do this? And why can't I just kill you right now? Uh, Regala, Kolrat, Fashav, I don't care about any of these people. The chamber below, though. How do you open it? Please tell me. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years. Killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old ones spoke, and what they said changed everything. All right, what about the old ones? What did they tell you? What did the old ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans Trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace. Until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Well, is that a promise or is that just a fainted lie, boys? I hope it's a promise because if I need to go to war do just for you, and go north to do I better to get that goddamn uh, component that I need. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Don't Speak worry about that. I'll succeed. She will arm you for the road ahead. If he wants me to fight his war for himself. And uh, in exchange, he'll give me the path uh, to that component. Fine by me, boys. It's just a trade, I guess, a trade-in. I still don't know why, like she said, why couldn't I just go straight through him? Try and kill him off and then uh, run away with the component. Like, why can't I do that? That would have been the easier solution right there. Well, anyways, I guess we'll talk to Deca in the next uh, video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.